Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita, and today we are going to answer a frequently asked question. How much does it cost to paint a room? Now, whether you've purchased a new house or you're just looking for a good weekend DIY project, you've probably either painted a room before or you've thought about painting a room. Even if you've never tried it, one of the first questions that you're probably asking yourself is, well, what does it cost? But let's be honest here, because what you're probably wondering deep down is, well, how much would it just cost for me to hire someone else to paint this room so I don't have to do it? Am I right? So today we're going to break that all down for you. We're going to detail out all of the supplies and materials that you would need to purchase in order to paint a room. And then we'll even separate out the one-time use items from the tools that you can use over and over again. But then we're going to take it one step further and compare that to the national average cost to paint a room if you were to hire it out. So once you know the price to paint a room, you're going to be able to decide for yourself whether you should DIY or hire it out. All right, first we're gonna start with method one, DIY. So to purchase the materials, there are quite a bit of uh, supplies and materials that you're gonna need to purchase the first time. Now, if it's your very first time painting or doing any DIY, chances are you're gonna need to buy a lot of the basic supplies. That's like paint rollers and drop cloths. But the good part is that a lot of these painting supplies can be used over and over and over again. And painting rarely stops in just one room of your house. So it's really best to consider these painting supplies as more of an investment. That's how I like to look at them. Now, here are the items that can be used over and over again. Keep in mind that these costs are as of right now, it's April, 2022, and the cost for these is roughly $200. Now keep in mind, these are estimates only. And um, like I said, they're based on the time of recording. And they're definitely subject to change or be completely different in your area, at your store, or based on the brand that you purchase. Now for reference, I have linked all of the supplies that we recommend in the video description so you can see the products that we use and the ones that we were using as a general cost estimate for this list. All right, now here are the other painting materials that are more of a one-time use things, like paint and primer. Obviously, these items can only be used once. So this is the real cost to paint a room once you have the basic supplies already in your toolbox. Now the paint quantity here is based on an average size room, which is roughly 12 by 12. So I put in estimates for one gallon of primer, ceiling paint and trim paint, and then two gallons of wall paint. And two gallons of wall paint is gonna get you enough to cover two coats in an average size room. All right, so to summarize, the first time you paint a room, it's gonna be roughly $450 or just under that to buy all the painting supplies and materials. But over half of that is for tools and supplies that can be used over and over and over again. But a shocking 22% of those uh, supply costs are to buy a ladder, which is the most expensive supply that you'll need. And you may already have a ladder or you could borrow one from a friend or family member. And that would definitely save you a lot of money for this whole cost estimate. Now, once you paint your first room, the cost to paint a room is just gonna be over like $200-ish, $230 to purchase those items that can't be used again, like paint and primer. Now you may notice that we listed things like paint trays and roller covers as a one-time use item. You could technically definitely wash these items out and use them again, but we found that's more trouble than it's worth. They aren't really easy to clean and roller covers definitely work much better the first time. At least that's what we found. All right, let's move on to method number two, and that's hiring it out. So now that you know how much it costs to DIY it, let's compare it and just see how much it would cost to hire it out instead. Now, according to Home Advisor, the national average cost to paint a room ranges from about 950 to just under 3000. And the average is about 1910. And again, that's for an average size room that's 12 by 12. Now your quotes could go as low as 350 or as high as 5,000, depending on the contractor and the area. And this data here is up to date and it is based on over 50,000 actual costs reported by Home Advisor members. So it's safe to say that it's a pretty accurate number. Now the price that a painter is gonna quote you on a room will vary based on a number of factors, including how busy they are, for instance, if they need the work, they may be willing able to go lower on their quote. And if they're super busy and have a wait list, the quote's probably gonna go up. 
the type of paint that either you're requesting or the brands that they prefer, the ceiling heights of your room, the number of windows and doors, if you need the ceilings painted or the doors or the trim also painted, if you have furniture that needs to be moved or covered or worked around, and if there's any minor damage to the walls that needs to be fixed like patching holes. All right, so to compare, the cost to paint a room yourself is just over $400 per room and about $240 per room after that. And if you were to hire it out, it's gonna be just about $900 to hire. That means that you're gonna save about $1,500 to $1,700 per room if you go the DIY style. Now, if you need to paint your whole house, that cost savings really adds up. Like in a standard house, three bedrooms, two bath, kitchen, living room, you're looking at something like $10,500 to that you would save if you painted it yourself. Now that's pretty substantial, don't you think? So we've already explained the obvious fact that you're gonna save a lot of money if you choose to DIY your painting. And I'm a firm believer that regardless of your skill or experience, anyone can learn how to paint a room, guys. So if you do decide to go through the painting yourself, we are here to help. We have so many painting tutorials that we have created just for you. You can either hop over to our website, makingmanzanita.com for written tutorials or informational articles, or you can check out this video playlist for more of our painting videos. And while you're here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. We share weekly DIY and renovation tutorials. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you next time.